I'm Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Pat, trading partner is along Bob Iacchino. So rotation zone held up, breaking down through our next cluster area of 11,100. Then the next area, 10,961. Hope everybody, once it went through to 10,961, updated down to the next key point, which gives us 10,820, which dead stop on and now holding right there. Now with this pausing bar, we can now drag it down to here which gives us our two minor levels. I'm going to really be watching for it to break through about 10,726, then 10,571, 10,377 to 10,328 are your key levels to the downside. On any rally, this prior support little ledge and their cluster now becomes uh, resistance. So we're looking at 11,100 is now key resistance and then returning to about 11,350 is the next key area of resistance. Let's check in on the daily chart. So it's clearly through the rotation zone. Now see, we'll have to see where today closes though. Today is not closed. So really the key area to watch for is whether it can close back about above 11,050. Close above 11,050 returns it into the rotation zone, which is a tail down below. Closing down where it is now would be more bearish because now we're down below the rotation zone and we continue to watch for a bigger pullback. That's about it on Bitcoin. Switching over to Ethereum, we have a potential double bottom pattern here. Again, it's potential because it's not confirmed until it trades above 216.67 and it's not triggered till it closes above 216.67. So this does not mean this can't go lower, but there is a potential. So I thought I'd map out the uh, levels for you. So the first key area, which is generally the stop raise is two. 24.54, then first profit target 228.48, 232.42, second profit target. So there would be three targets on this. And again, this is for educational purposes only, not instructing you to take any trade. And this trade hasn't even triggered yet. So it's definitely for educational purposes only. Right now, key support holding right around this 203 level. If we get down below 203, we'll be watching for the 200 level. And then same levels as yesterday, they've not changed. 196 and 191.26. So that's really all. We just have a potential bullish pattern that could trigger at some point, but has not yet. Let's see where we sit here. So you can also see the double bottom on the daily chart, uh, left hand bottom, right hand bottom. It is against the rotation zone on the daily chart. So it is a lower probability that shaves about eight. Uh, points off the probability of through the testing that has been done uh, if it did trigger it could actually return all the way to the 50 day exponential moving average and then reverse back down lower remember this is only a three target trade if those targets are hit then the pattern is over and just because there's the potential pattern again i'll reiterate it does not mean this has to be bullish in order for this to be a bullish pattern, it would have to be confirmed and then triggered, neither of which have happened yet. That's what we have for you on Bitcoin and Ethereum, and we'll talk to everyone soon. Bye for now.